Hi everyone, so today we have an Acer Predator that uh, a friend of mine gave me to see what was going on because this computer was uh, freezing the games so um, as you can see it has a lot of uh, damp in the vents I did a test on it, it was going for almost 90 degrees as you can see here, this only after 4 minutes so let's open up and clean it out so we start to remove the screws to take off the um, bottom cover and see how it is inside. So we start to pry up these uh, covers we use a spudger to help op open up for some reason this part is not opening properly So um, I feel stupid now because uh, there is a screw under the seal. So let's remove the seal. Try to see if we manage to take it out without damaging it. Yeah, it's damaged, so let's just take it out. It's no longer under warranty, so it's the same. So we take the final screw. This is just a normal Phillips screw. And we remove the cover to reveal the insides. As you can see, the cover is a bit dusty. And it's discolored due to the heat. So the fans they look very dirty this is the reason why it was overheating it got almost to 90 degrees in four minutes so here's the reason why So we start by unplugging the battery, obviously we don't want to get shocked or to damage any internal components. So we use a small spudger to remove the battery adapter. We do the same with the connector for the fan.
So let's unplug the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Now the fan connector as well. Same thing, you pull on one side and on the other and you pull gently on the wires so you don't break them. Now we unscrew the fence, it's also a Phillips screw, so it's very easy. Now we need to remove these adhesive tapes. Just make sure that the airflow goes directly to the cooler fans. This one is a bit harder to remove, so we'll just pry up and pull it as you can see it is very dirty so the air was getting blocked on the way out and on the way in if this is a double air flow it goes in and goes out So with this little pry tool we just remove the glue. I didn't use alcohol because I need to glue it back so I need to keep the glue intact. Here is exactly the same, we remove the screws, remove the adhesive tape and pry up to remove it again.
we will now proceed to clean the uh, cooler. We remove the screws from the top lid to allow us to get inside and clean the fan. So we start by cleaning with a toothbrush, dry, to remove this dust. I'm now using a thinner brush to make sure to remove the dust that is gathered around the fan. As you can see it's still a bit because this fan it has a small dents on the end and with the other toothbrush as it was harder it did not reach it very well. As you can see here these metal like clamps they allow for a better airflow, but if they are blocked with dust, they won't do anything. So I'm using this toothbrush with thinner hairs to remove everything. After that's done, just clean here the lid. As you can see, there was a lot of dirt inside. So we now pass a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to make sure to remove everything and have it properly cleaned. So that when it starts it doesn't smell like dust coming from the inside of the computer. And now we assemble it back, put all the screws in the place. We go work on the other one, same procedure. Take off the lid and clean the inside. This fan is different, this is all plastic, the other was metal, so this is easier to clean.
So after that's done, we put it back together. We now will do a small cleaning on the inside to make sure to clear the vents. the side with the fan that was metal it's for some reason it's dirtier maybe the airflow is bigger there so we use the toothbrush to release everything from the from the vents blow from the outside and you need to make sure that they are all unblocked as you can see it is there's no debris inside the, f the vents we now clean it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol as well to make sure it's properly cleaned and sanitized. So we now unplug this cable in order to remove the full cooling system. So in order to remove this we need to take out the screws so if you notice the screws they are all marked with a number so they should be removed from 7 onwards to 1 and reassembled from 1 to 7 but as I am changing the thermal paste I will just remove them in any, any way it's the same but when assembling back we need to make sure to put them from 1 to 7 so that the pressure applied on the both GPU and CPU are the same. So we push this carefully so that it doesn't damage anything. We can see that the adhesives have shattered a little bit, but they are still fresh, they are not dried out. Also the thermal paste is not that bad as well, but well, we'll replace it anyway. There is a bit of dust 
that I removed, sorry it's not on plan, but it was next to the uh, vents. To, remo to remove the thermal paste we now need to use a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a little bit of cotton in order to leave it cleaned and the cotton swab as well to remove the excess around it sorry the, uh, the other one was not in plan I forgot to zoom out my apologies for that so now zooming out you can see they are cleaned let's give another clean here with a bit of alcohol just to make sure that everything is properly cleaned We will now clean the thermal paste on the copper. And since I do not have the adhesives, I will try to put these back together so that they can seal the chips again. So this is a bit soft so we can like mold it like if it was a bit of gum. So it gets in touch with the remains that are on the chips and they seal it and do a thermal transfer as they should. So we now clean the back cover to remove this dust from it. So we now apply a decent amount of thermal paste because we will we will spread it on the ship with this uh, tool that the thermal paste has. So we make sure to spread it evenly throughout the ship, up and down and sideways. And that way you won't get too much thermal paste we will get the uh, decent amount for it to work we just put a little bit on the middle to avoid doing bubbles when we hair bubbles in this case when we put the uh, cooler back on top And we do the same thing here with the adhesive, just put, put it on top of the ships and press it a little bit so that it maintains its structure once it gets this on top. So now this part is very important. We need to make sure to place it at once. We don't have a second chance, otherwise the thermal first we will get spread it out unevenly so we make sure to place it on the right spot 
at the first attempt. That's why I'm taking so long to do it. And there it is. Perfect. Now we press it a little bit, put the cables back on, on their places. And now we need to put the screws on the correct order, from 1 to 7. First we put this one to hold the uh, structure, because it does not have a number. And now we put the numbered ones, so that we apply the correct pressure on the chips. So we now plug the cable back in. And we place the coolers back in to their spots. Put the screws back on. So we connect the cables back on place for the coolers to work. This is something you should never forget, otherwise the computer will overheat. So we plug back the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. The uh, chip where we are plugging them in has the correct colors so we don't screw things up. It says B and W, so black and white, or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, whatever you want. So with all back together, we just heat up the adhesive a little bit, because this one is hard, so that it gets softened and properly sealed the uh, the vents so that the air doesn't flow any other direction that it should not I am using the heat gun at around 100 degrees so that it softens the adhesive and doesn't melt it And we plug the battery back in. I always try to use a plastic pick 
so that you don't do any short circuits. And we assemble the back cover on. And put all the screws. And now we test this big boy. So I'm going to run the OCCT, that does a system test, it puts the CPU at 100% and see we see the temperature. So the other test I did when it was not cleaned, when 4 minutes reached around 90 degrees, it was between 88 and 90 degrees. And on this one you can see it doesn't pass. 50 degrees so we can call it a success so hope you liked the video subscribe enjoy see ya